Hi everyone, my name is Whitney and I am a dental hygienist. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Today, let's talk about wisdom teeth. And before we jump in, I'd like to remind you about my website, teethtalkgirl.com. If you're ever looking for a specific dental topic, I have a search bar where you can easily find what you're looking for. And also my Instagram, at Teeth Talk Girl. Wisdom teeth are the last set of molars, AKA back teeth, that we get in our mouths. Although most of us have most of our permanent teeth by the time we're 12 or 13 years old, wisdom teeth tend to not fully come in until our body is almost completely physically developed. In fact, they're usually still growing well into our 20s. And it's common to see someone in high school or college or even early adulthood experience issues with their wisdom teeth. By the way, we in dentistry also refer to these teeth as the third molars, since they're the last set of molars to come in. If you're getting your wisdom teeth, some of the most common warning signs include swollen gums in the back of your mouth, a sore jaw, a bad taste in your mouth, bad breath, or seeing your other teeth start to crowd together. And the most common symptom of wisdom teeth is soreness or pain that comes and goes. It might flare up for a few days, die down for a month, then come back again. If the symptoms keep recurring, it's usually a good indication that it's not going to get any better. Now, a wisdom tooth could do one of several things. It could erupt straight into the mouth without causing any type of wisdom teeth symptoms, if you're lucky. Or it could only partially erupt, which is where a portion of the tooth is visible, but the remainder of it is submerged down in your gums and bone. Then there are other situations where the tooth is impacted and doesn't have the ability to erupt. It might be wedged at an angle into the tooth next to it, blocked by bone, or surrounded in a cyst. Your dentist will need to take a panoramic x-ray to see what's going on for sure. Especially if you have any type of wisdom teeth discomfort, it's important to make sure they're not infected. For people who are lucky enough to get all of their wisdom teeth without any of the usual symptoms, it's still important to be on the lookout for signs of cavities or gum disease. Since third molars are so hard to reach, so far back there, they're more prone to getting these everyday infections. In other words, your oral hygiene needs to be impeccable if you are trying to keep them in your mouth. Now, if you're not experiencing any signs of wisdom teeth symptoms, more often than not, it's safe to assume that you probably have your wisdom teeth. Maybe they just didn't erupt. However, it is noteworthy to point out that wisdom teeth are some of the most common congenitally missing teeth. You can inherit having missing wisdom teeth from your mom or dad. Like some people only have three wisdom teeth instead of four, while others might not have any at all. Still, this is a pretty small percentage of the population. Most of us don't win the genetic lottery jack Jackpot and still have all four wisdom teeth. And guess what? Some people even have extra. However, these supernumerary or additional teeth aren't usually the same size as a regular wisdom tooth. In most cases, they are much smaller, but located even further back behind the regular full-sized wisdom teeth. As your dentist takes routine x-rays to evaluate your oral development or screen for cavities, they'll be able to see your small tooth buds start to form and gradually become full-sized third molars. One of the major reasons you need an extraction to get them pulled is because there isn't room in your mouth for your wisdom teeth. Impacted third molars occur when they're are more teeth than mouth, so to speak. When the space behind your second, 12-year molars isn't wide enough to let the wisdom teeth through, they'll often get caught up inside of the jaw. Or your wisdom teeth grow at an angle and get stuck against the second molars. When that happens, your healthy teeth can become damaged, develop cavities, be more prone to gum disease, or even die. Impacted third molars are best off removed before they interfere with the ones in front of them. Impacted teeth can't erupt properly and are more prone to infections. Even when they've partially erupted, third molars are so hard to keep clean that they're more likely to get cavities. But compared to other types of toothaches, Wisdom teeth pain is more of a dull ache and soreness. You might even get some joint stiffness in your jaw and TMJ. You don't usually get that jolt of pain that shoots through your face the way a cracked or abscessed tooth does. But that's not to say wisdom teeth pain isn't any more comfortable. It can still ruin your day, especially since wisdom teeth tend to cause more come and go type of toothaches when you might not be prepared. So what can be done? Make an appointment at your dental office. And until then, you can apply a warm or cool compress to the side of your face for 20 minutes on and 20 minutes off. This process alleviates swelling, which 
is one of the main sources of wisdom tooth pain. Also, rinsing with warm salt water a few times per day can also help to take some of the inflammation out of the gum tissues in the back of your mouth. You know how babies get sore gums and act fussy when they're getting their teeth? It's no different than when your third molars are erupting. You're teething. You can also take over-the-counter anti-inflammatory medications such as ibuprofen as long as you're cleared by your doctor. But you can only try to combat these symptoms for so long, right? So like I said, what you really need to do is schedule an appointment at your dental office. The appointment you set up, it will be an exam and it will generally be a consultation where they take a panoramic x-ray to see the entire area around each wisdom tooth. At that point, you can both make an action plan as to what needs to happen next. You might not need to do anything or your dentist might recommend you having your third molars extracted. If so, they will either set up an appointment at their dental office or send you to a wisdom tooth specialist, also known as an oral surgeon. To learn more about wisdom teeth extractions, I've linked my other wisdom teeth videos in the bottom bar below, what happens during the procedure, and recovery tips and tricks. I hope this video helped you. Please like and subscribe if it did. And if you want more teeth talk, you can visit my website, teethtalkgirl.com for more dental health and dental hygiene. Peace, love, and teeth.